now coming to the central nervous system here three anatomical changes happen the first and foremost is the number of neurons decreases here you can see the neuron number decreases and it degenerates another important thing is the size of the ventricle and the sulci normally the sulci are on the surface of the brain but in elderly patient the sulci become deeper and your ventricle size is increased these are the three major changes the neurons degenerate the ventricle increase in size and your sulci become deeper apart from that anatomically there is decreased brain white volume loss of dendritic complex the fibers in the spinal cord tract is decreased and you have a decreased cerebral blood flow because one of your main anesthetic concern is to maintain the cerebral blood flow and already your cerebral blood flow will be compromised and physiologically there is decreased neuronal gene expression which can affect your learning memory as well as survival your neurotransmitter is function is decreased decrease conduction velocity in neuron and another important perioperative problem is going to be your cognitive function which is impaired and finally not to forget the regulation of temperature the regulation of temperature is lost and the patient is very much hypothermic prone another important thing is compensatory response to blood loss also is lost so patient might be hypothermic and they are prone for cognitive dysfunction now coming to hepatic changes first and foremost there is going to be brown atrophy as the patient becoming increasingly old and what is going to happen is lot of free radicals will be available as the patient become old these are the monoploid and diploid hepatocytes and these are the sinusoidal cells normally exchange happens and the insulin freely moves from the intravascular compartment to the extracellular matrix and takes control of the sugar but in elderly patient let's see what happens there is old hepatocytes apoptotic hepatocytes the architecture of hepatocyte is distorted and what happens here is the sinusoidal cells they are blocked so the insulin cannot move into the extracellular phase and it is very difficult for glucose metabolism to be maintained and not only that there is decrease hepatic blood flow and the senescent cells cannot release the receptors the receptor cells cannot be released so to summarize there is going to be brown atrophy your hepatic mass is reduced your blood flow is going to come down there is impairment of phase 1 metabolism and decline in functional reserve is usually gradual and minimal coming to renal changes there is a disbalance of pro anti angiogenic factor which causes pericyte loss normally you can see the cell arranged nicely here you can see the pericyte is lost which can lead to interstitial edema and the cells become old and there is a microvascular reaction here you can see the size is coming down and there is podocyte hypertrophy which affects your juxta glomerular apparatus and this vascular involvement microvascular rarefaction can affect your juxta glomerular apparatus and overall from the kidney you have loss of nephron loss of renal mass and nephron hypertrophy so from whole kidney to the cell everything gets affected in elderly patient so what is going to happen there is reduce renal blood flow and reduce response to vasodilatation your renal cortical mass is reduced gfr comes down by 50% and creatinine clearance is reduced but most important function which is difficult to treat is a loss of tubular function there is loss of concentrating ability impaired ability to handle acid load renin angiosensin system is impaired and thirst response is also altered 
the elderly patients are prone for hyponatremia and hypokalemia.